up? This is the Mighty Hieroglyphics crew in the house. This is A Plus. Right now we're on G4 television. You know something we call Freestyle 101. And the main guest of all times, the, the high honored right now, the Godfather of High Road himself, D E L, the Funky Homo Sapien. Do what you do, baby. Remember we used to play them games, man. Do, do how you do it. Break it on. Baby. Okay. I'm about to start rapping, get into a rhyme spray. This is D.E.L., you know I'm gonna do it my way like Sinatra. You know I got to make it hotter whenever I step to the plate. MC's going for grapes, better start smoking. Cause when I'm on the microphone, it's a lot more as your token. Yo, and I'm not no token me. D.E.L. on the microphone provoking me. It's gonna end up to your devilment, demolishment, abolishment. On the microphone, just swallow it. D.E.L., I'm back. I'm like college. Man, I give you that knowledge that you need. Yeah, I supersede and proceed. Yo, I used to play Zach Son back in the day before I got my rap on and maybe some Congo Bongo. For you weak MCs, I'm beyond yo. Weak rap that you try to spit, I'm the ultimate. Is the EL, don't tell me sh- Yo, I had to be quiet for that one when I packed my rap gun. Word, it's the EL and I'm back to make you learn. On the microphone for them gangsters and nerds. Yeah, you get served when I'm on the microphone and laying a turd. And then I used to play Pac-Man before I got on the mic and kicked the fat jam. Yo, and sometimes I play Donkey Kong as Mario. Jumping over flaming barrels before I got back to the barrio. And I was down with Yoshi doing what we do. Then I just slow your speed. Trying to step up to me, it's catastrophe. Like my boy Tash from the Licks Had to give a shout out right quick Yeah, get off the Oh, please don't trip off those Getting on the mic with fat flows This is the L, you know how it goes Snowball, rolling, controlling Holding microphones cause I'm golden Whatever I'm spitting it, ridiculous Get off that, it's the L, man I got more packs to get off And each sack is gonna get you higher than a plane When I'm on the microphone, training my brain To be the lyrical expert Putting in work till your neck hurt Word, the L, and I'm back again When I'm on the microphone, rapping for my Friends like Merce out in the studio doing this stuff so that you truly know. And I'm down with high road, bro. And if you are too, then give me a great big how do you do when you see me? Throw up the peace sign, at least it's mine, at least it's fine. Whenever I do what dropping a dime, yeah, yeah, therefore, say no more, baby. I <laughs> G4. Keep playing Sega games. There's a lot of similarities between being an MC or being freestylist and, you know, making music or playing video games. With the skill, it takes the same amount of determination, you know. Just being able to get in there and keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it over and over until you just get better and better at it, you know. Some people ain't got that perseverance where they want to just sit there. Some people pick up the sticks, you know, start playing, and they get frustrated after they lose a few times. Then you got others that just keep on playing, learn the basics. Then once they learn the basics, they start freaking it, you know what I'm saying? Start doing little stuff you didn't even know you could do. You know, start styling with it. Somebody come in the room, they acting all cool on the sticks, you know. It's kind of the same thing with freestyle. Once you got the basics, your foundation, you could take that and then you could take it anywhere you want to go. Like once you know the rules, then you can freak it. Then you can break the rules, but you got to know the foundation first. Like if you play Street Fighter, you basically could play any other fighting game. It's pretty much the same. Even though Street Fighter and Virtual Fighter got two different systems of playing, you should still be able to adapt easily to the other system because it's still a fighting game, you know? So you still block, you still punch, you still kick, you still do combinations. You just gotta learn how to do it with this system. It's the same thing with playing music, you know what I'm saying? Like in music, you learn like chord progressions, you learn different uh, scales and stuff like that. And to me, it's a lot like learning like Street Fighter combos. You know, you just got a whole bunch of scales and a whole bunch of patterns, musical patterns in your head. It's the same as learning how to do some kind of pattern with Street Fighter. And I play the keyboard, so it's the same type of things with my digits, you know what I'm saying? Pressing the keyboard as it is pressing on a controller, you feel me? Me and A Plus, we from Oakland, California, you know? And we basically got into freestyle, and I guess really, we didn't know no better, you know? Like, that's that's what it was back then, you know? It was really mainly about freestyle. We freestyle at school, on the block, or something like that, each other's houses and stuff like that, you know? It was just like a beginning stage before we started stepping it up to, like, writing our raps and then trying to compose songs, make beats, and stuff like that. So that was just, that's just the essence, man. Where we grew up at, uh... 
there wasn't really a scene at all. Uh, you know, we kind of just kept it to ourselves, and we kind of, over the years, developed the scene out there. A, a little bit later on, there there were, like, real places that we could go to, like maybe a Mr. Floppies or, like... The, the Ice Bird, House? Yeah, the Ice, Ice House. house. Yeah. Bird Cage, you know right. what I'm saying? Little spots where older older cats that knew us, you know what I'm saying? They was DJing something somewhere, they would let us come in and get on the mic and stuff. Since, since when you're writing a rhyme, you're freestyling in your head anyway, it just helps if you're able to just spontaneously come up with rhymes. It just makes your writing skills that much tighter. You know, if you could freestyle, it's almost nothing for you to write a rap because you've got time to prepare in your head and, you know what I'm saying, get it right before you even put it on the page. So freestyling, I think, helps a lot with the writing. I mean, you're going to mess up. You know what I'm saying? You're going to mess up sometimes. Sometimes you're going to not rhyme. Sometimes you're going to inadvertently dish yourself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're going to say something stupid, but if you could just bounce back and just keep keep it going, you know, that's where you kind of get your respect from. And you got to kind of have, like, a low amount of fear.